everybody, it's Dove Hammer here and I'm back with another little uh, harmonica tutorial and today's subject uh, is very important if you're starting to learn blues harmonica. Today we are going to talk about positions, specifically second position cross harp. Uh, you heard that little bit of blues that I played to start off. Uh, if you've ever wanted to play blues harmonica, that's what you want it to sound like and if you are having a hard time finding it, I'm here to give you the keys to the kingdom, the most important first lesson you need to play blues on the harmonica. And that's called second position cross harp. What does that mean? Well, positions basically mean on the harmonica um, where your root note is, where you start playing it. And that means that you can play different harmonicas in several different keys. It's set up to a particular key, as you might know, but you are not bound to that particular key. This harmonica, for example, that I'm holding right now is a C harmonica. Um, but that does not mean I have to play it in the key of C. I can play it in several different keys, but the most important of which we're going to talk about today. Right now, what you heard me playing blues harmonica on this C harmonica, I was playing in the key of G. That's called second position, cross harp. Before we finish this, I will explain to you how to figure out which harp to use for that position. But right now, let's talk about why we play second position. What good is second position? Well, um, first of all, what is second position? When I'm playing in second position, like I said, I'm playing in the key of G on my C harmonica. Where is the note G? Where is my root note of the G scale? It is on hole number two, draw. Two draw is my G. That's my root note. Everything starts from there, okay? Or if I want to play in the blues scales, I started from two draw, two draw, and the octave higher is six blow. That's really important. Now, what else do I have around there? Well, if I play uh, one, two, three draw, I'm drawing on holes one, two, and three together, I got a G chord, a full chord there, which is really nice. That means I can play more than just a single note. I can give something fatter and more, more presence and good for backing and for... That's playing one, two, three, draw. Now, four draw is the same as one draw, right? It's an octave higher, so that's also part of the chord. All those notes. And then if I, if I go to five draw, that's the best part of it. This is actually one of the best reasons to play uh, cross harp, is five draw gives me the seven of that chord. Now, blues is often played not in straight major key, but it, using major seventh chords. You'll see on, a, on the chart for a, 12 bar blues in the key of G, it's going to be G7, C7, D7. Well, this is the 7. 7 means the last note of the scale is dropped by a half step. And here we have that. Here, uh, by way of example, if I play G on a G harmonica, this is my G harmonica. Straight major, G major. If I play it on the C harmonica, I get... That one note that's a half step lower, that makes all the difference. That makes it blues. So I got the seven, I got the entire G chord all lined up one next to each other um, and the, in the inhale direction. So I can do a lot of stuff just inhaling here. Okay, 90% of what I just did now, all draw. So if you're playing second position in the right key, all you have to do is draw and you're getting lots of blues there. Also, um, if all those notes on the, on the, uh, that I want to play out of my G chord and the draw direction, I can bend them too. On the four, on the two, on the three, on one. So those are the main reasons, the bending, the chord, the seven. Those are the reasons why when we play blues, we don't use a straight, harp that is first position or off and out. You can, but that's a whole different concept, but your classic blues harmonica or rock harmonica when you're talking about rock that's blues based, but if you've heard Robert Plant and Led Zeppelin or Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones playing some harmonica, they're doing it, they're trying to imitate blues players, they're doing the same thing, they're playing second position harmonica. So if this song is in G, they're playing in C. Alright, now how do I figure out what second position is if I want to play it? Well, first of all, if I have 
there's even some that you can find charts online. I won't give you one here because they're easy enough to find. But uh, if you want to figure out the math in your head, first of all, also, there are some harmonica companies that now write the key of the harmonica and they write second position, whatever, to make it easy for you. But you don't need that if you can figure it out. If you've got a C harmonica, you have to count up five to find where your second position. Okay, I got C, D, E, F, G. So if I got a C harmonica, I'm playing in the key of G. All right. If I got my A harmonica, then I got A. I got to go up five. A, B, C, D, E. On my A harmonica, I can play second position in the key of E. Or if you want to figure out the other way, I got a, a song in the key of G. How do I know what second position harmonica, what harmonica do I need to play a song that's in G? Well, I got to go up four. Okay, I got G, A, B, C. C will do the trick. If I got a song in the key of A, what harmonica do I need? Well, I got to go up four. A, B, C, D. I need a D harmonica to play second position in the key of A. That's more or less it, but you can find charts in different places online. Some harmonicas even, they write, the manufacturers write it on the side of the harmonica next to the key of the harp. But generally, that's what you need. So, second position harmonica, if you have the right harmonica, you're good to go. You don't need to know very much, okay? Because 12-bar blues, half of it is in that one chord, in the, in the one chord, okay? I'm playing in the key of G, half of that 12-bar progression is in the chord of G. So all I have to do is inhale on one through five or six. I'm doing great stuff. Okay, now for the four chord on bars five and six on the 12 bar blues, I got the blow. Okay, I got a C. I'm on a C harmonica. I got uh, all the blow notes are part of the C chord. I want to make it a, a a C7 to make it more bluesy, then I have to bend on the three. Three with a bend there will give me that. Here's. All right. Then I got the, those two bars where I use the five chord, D in this particular case. I got my D on one draw, on four draw. So that's how, that's blues lesson 101. You want to play blues in a certain key, use second position. How do I know if it's second position? If, I, if the song's in G, I want my C harmonic. If the song is in E, I want my A harmonica. Figure it out. So. If I, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, I'd like you to hit that like button at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel, and uh, if you have any questions, any comments, if you want me to make a tutorial about a particular subject, something you want to know about playing blues harmonica, feel free to put it in the comments. And I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you back next time.